your night at all Just wanna watch them stars fall But you don't wanna try to make up dreams Just to be seen I wanna lay here beside you Oh quiet Sky. Hello sweet friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a day where we're just going to sit and we're going to chat and I'm going to show you a few things, uh, changes that I made to the mantle, but I thought on this rainy Saturday afternoon it would just be nice to grab a cup of tea and this is lavender chamomile and I love it. It does make me a little bit sleepy, but so does a rainy day. So I figured this was the perfect beverage to share with you guys and have a chat. And this chat is going to be about habits. And we were talking at work the other day, uh, me and some of my female coworkers, about habits that can change your life. Because we were also talking about, I gotta stop doing these habits because it's not getting me anywhere. It's like on the flip side, what habits are we doing that make us feel joy, make us feel happiness? And if, you know, we can share those with each other I mean, we could lighten up someone's day, which I always love to do. So I also wanted to give you an update from um, last week's video with old fashioned, ha old fashioned things that we should bring back. And one of them I said was corresponding via letter. And I said I was gonna go out and get a PO box and I did. So I will put that at the bottom of the screen and it will also be in the description box. So if you guys want to start writing letters or sending cards or whatever, I would love to correspond with you guys. So that is done. And I did meet one of the other things was get to know your neighbors. And I saw a neighbor outside on Tuesday and I went over and introduced myself and said, hello, they apologize for not coming over. We chatted and we look forward to getting to know each other better. So those were two things that I did from my list and they made me both feel so happy. <laughs> so I can't wait to start corresponding with you guys and sharing things, whether we share a recipe, you know, you send me one, I send you one, <clears throat> or we do like, um, like a cookie exchange recipe kind of thing around the holidays since they're coming up. Or if you guys have any suggestions with what we could correspond or send back and forth, put it in the description box because I would love to know. And I would love to get to know you guys better and for you guys get to know me, you know, a little better too. So let's take a little sip of tea, a spot of tea, if you will. And everybody who knows me, if you don't know me yet, very English country, grandma chic. I love all things England. I would live there if I could right now, but my husband is entirely against it. So I'm gonna make my house look, oh, and there is Gibson, I think, yep. Hold on, I gotta get a cat out of the way. Sorry about that. I have you guys like propped up in the bay window and that's kind of their spot. So again, yes, I love all things England. So we're making our house look as traditionally as an English country cottage as possible. And since it's fall here in Connecticut, that's where we live, um, in the spring, we're gonna start on the outside and I have big plans and I can't wait to share them. So let's take a little sip of tea or your favorite beverage. <clears throat> and these are some tips that I thought of. And yes, this is a glasses video <laughs> because I'm also 55 and I can't see <laughs> without them. So these, and I wrote them down so I didn't forget any of them. But these are just like some small tips, small things you can do to change your life for the better. And the first one I thought of was to remain grateful, to look around at all the beauty around you, the tree, the sky, the flowers, your loved ones, your home, just all those things um, that you're grateful for. And I think sometimes we just take it for granted you know, we'll drive to work or we'll drive to the store and we don't really look at, you know, all the things around us. I know here in New England, I kind of take it for granted. Like right now, all the trees are orange and red and bright yellows and it's just beautiful. And the leaves are all over the lawn because it keeps raining here. <laughs> but it's like something that you should be grateful for is all the beauty that is around you that God has given us. And I know I, for one, am somebody who always took it for granted too, but I'm going to start really looking around. Look at what's around me. Um, go in your favorite room in your home. Drink out of your favorite teacup. Just little things that you are grateful for that 
you could start incorporating into your everyday life and cost nothing. So that's number one. Number two <clears throat> is sometimes when you're feeling a little down, you just need to change your scenery a little bit. So, you know, again, with number one, if you are feeling a little down, you're just not sure, you I mean, go for a ride, go look at something beautiful, um, go have tea in your favorite room or put on your favorite movie and just cuddle in, you know, just those are some of the things that um, scenery means a lot. And I know for me too, when it's winter here and it's gloomy and it's cold, especially when we get to like the end of February, beginning of March, I need to see those trees blooming. I need to see those flowers. I need the sun's vitamin D. I <laughs> just need those things because I need a change of scenery. And sometimes all it takes is, you know, just go for a ride or go walk in a park or something like that. Just change your scenery. If you spend a lot of time in your kitchen or in your living room, you don't use your dining room, go use it. Have a cup of tea in your dining room. Just look at look around at how you've decorated it, get new ideas. Sometimes just changing your scenery, you know, helps change your mind. So that is another one. And, oh, here's a good one. And I do this all the time is, this is a bad habit, is to do too much at once. So I'm a big fan of multitasking, but know what your limit is. So in other words, I might be doing laundry, I might be cooking, I might trying to set up for a video I'm gonna do. I'm doing too many things at the same time. And when you do that, something will fall through the cracks. So quality over quantity, I guess. You know, do something, do it all the way through if you can, and just make sure it's exactly the way you want it to be, and then move on to the next thing. That's why I have a planner and I'm a big list person. So then I know I had, you know, three or four things to do today. I just cross them off. And when you cross them off, you feel so much better that you have crossed it off. And your task is complete. In other words, you haven't started eight things, you finished four and now you're done for the day. You gotta wake up tomorrow and go back to the other four. So just, you know, pace yourself, do one thing at a time and you will be thankful you did. Then of course, laughter is the best medicine. Who doesn't like to laugh? I mean, these are, our hard times out there and the world is kind of crazy. So to laugh with a friend or watch something funny on TV or do all those things that are funny and that make you laugh or think a funny thought, you know, you have to incorporate that into your daily life because everybody needs to laugh. Everybody needs that joy. And I think that that's really important. And um, like I said, when you watch the news, it's just depressing. <laughs> it's just like, what the heck is going on out there? So I turn on something funny, watch something funny and you know, I feel better and I think you will too. So another good thing, another good habit to do that will change your life is helping people. And it doesn't mean financially. It means if you see, you know, a mom with a toddler that's out of control in the grocery store and they're in line, let them go first. The mother I'm sure is mortified. And if you can just let her go in and out, she will be so appreciative and it will make you happy. And you know, just little things like that, you know, holding the door for a few people when they walk through. If you see somebody and you like their perfume or, you know, something that they're wearing, give them a compliment, put a smile on their face, and it will also, you know, brighten your day. And it's a habit that, you know, if we all did it, gave, you know, one compliment a day or did one nice gesture a day, think of how quickly the world would turn around. It's a great habit, I think. And here's a habit, especially uh, for moms with young kiddos or anybody, is try to do as much you can to prepare the night before. So if you have kiddos or you bring your own lunch to work or your husband's lunch to work or whatever you get set up in the morning, like I leave my coffee cup out ready to go, whatever you can do the night before will make your morning run so much more smoothly. And I know I do that, sorry, I'm getting a cold. <laughs> I know I do that all the time. So every night before I go to bed, I just kind of look around and say, what can I do that's gonna be easier for me in the morning? So like I have our lunches made, so that's all set, because we both bring our lunch to work. I have whatever we're gonna have for dinner the night before, if it needs to you know, defrost, I have that happening. Um, if we're gonna do a crock pot meal, I have everything in the refrigerator in a bowl, ready to go in the morning. So, you know, just little things like that, that can really help you get your day started on the right foot. And it makes your life so much easier than trying to scramble around in the morning. And I don't like doing that. So that's a habit that would definitely change your life for the better. 
And this is a hard one. I know, especially for, you know, moms, working moms is, you know, try to relax in every evening and do something for yourself. So in other words, maybe after everything is done, you just hop in a bath, put a candle on, and just totally relax. Or you sit with your husband and you watch your favorite show together over coffee or a glass of wine. Um, maybe you pick a night that you do your skincare and, you know, it's just me time. You close the bedroom door or the bathroom door. You know, you do your skincare, maybe put on some music, a little candle, just things that are going to make you feel good about you and that you'll wake up in the morning and you're just like, I'm so glad I had that time with me because everybody needs to relax and it's really hard to do and everybody needs me time and that's also hard to achieve. So if you just say to yourself, okay, on like Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm going to do this skincare routine after everything is done, then you go ahead and do it. And it's a good habit to get into, something to do for yourself. And the last one is a good one, and I'm sure a lot of people do it, and it has, studies have shown, turn off your phone. So at the end of the evening, when it's your relaxed time or before you go to bed, and the last thing would be, let's take a little sip of tea, <laughs> would be to turn off your phone, turn off social media an hour before you go to sleep. You know, you've been on it all day, even people who, you know, don't do it for a living, you know, you, we're just all in the habit of taking our phones out. And my husband and I have, you know, the no phone at dinner rule, but I think a habit that is good to get into that will change your life will be one hour before you go to bed, turn it off. Nothing that great is going to be happening. You know, take that time for yourself. Take that for pampering time. Take that for spending time with your significant other or your kids, you know, play a game with them. You know, do something fun with your husband, even if you're just cuddling on the couch. Um, just do all those things. Social media will be there again in the morning. So turn your brain off to social media and just enjoy everything that's around you. And there's another cat. <laughs> this time it was Serena, so we'll get her out of here. <laughs> they just always like to be where I am. But anyway, those are the tips. And there were nine of them that I thought of, or eight of them rather. And if you think of any tips, um, habit tips that can change someone's life and give them more happiness. Let's share them in the box below. Let's get in there and let's help each other out and think of some more things to do to change the habits in our life. So now, now that we've talked about that, we've had a little bit of tea. Why don't we go in the living room and I will show you guys the mantle and I will show you some of the changes that I've made. So let's go check it out. Okay, so these are some of the changes that I have made to the mantle. So on this side, I did decide to take out, I actually took out two blue vases, but I just really wanted to add a little bit more color. So I did use that. And I just put one of my dried hydrangeas in there. Hydrangeas, did I say that right? <laughs> hydrangeas. Then I have my lovely old fashioned lady and some old, old books. Candles are always an essential part, I think, of any decor, whether it's modern or um, farmhouse or cottage. I just love candles tremendously. We have our little cute little swans. I took out one of my other blue vases that I love so much, and it was in a cabinet. I'm like, why is it in a cabinet? I should have it out here. Then I kept um, the same wreath that this way and I have the same little bowl so that stayed the same and then this beautiful vase I also had in the other house and it was packed away so I found it and I took it out same candle down there and I took out my little blue pitcher and my lovely little statue head and it's actually I don't know if you guys knew that but this is a citronella candle so I just gotta scoop out the inside so I can use it as a vase. And then my beautiful, one of my favorite vases ever that I also got thrifting. And most of the things on this mantle have been thrifted. But this really pretty blue vase I took back out and I put some more dried hydrangeas in it. And this is my mantle now. My mantle is forever changing. <laughs> I've put out a few baskets, a little brush, and this is it. 
And I just think it's so pretty now. I can't wait to paint this fireplace as soon as I make up my mind of what color I want to paint it. So if you guys have any ideas, again, let me know. But this is it. So thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget my PO box is now in the description box below. And any comments, questions, anything you have, I'd love to see and I'd love to answer all of them. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. It's what we choose to Just wanna watch them stars fall